Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another day of productivity together. It has been a great morning so far because pumpkin spice just came out of stories. And I got myself some this morning and it is so good. So for today's video, we are going to be working on a project together. This is gonna be a multi-part series that I'm going to be doing for my productivity because it has to do with my daughter's birthday. I have something really fun that I'm going to be making for her for her birthday. I have a vintage dollhouse that my dad has had for years. It's in the box, hasn't been opened up. It is the cutest wooden dollhouse. So I decided that I wanted to build it for my daughter to give to her on her birthday. With that being said, it's going to be kind of a long process. So for today's video, I'm just gonna get started on it. I don't even know what this video is going to look like or what I'm going to need because I've never put together a dollhouse like this so we're going to try to do this together and I actually think it's gonna be so much fun and I'm so looking forward to starting this since it's for my daughter's birthday I'm going to be working on it outside so that she doesn't see it so we're gonna head outside and start putting this thing together if we can even do that today we'll find out so let's go All right guys, so we made it outside and this is the Quick Build Imagination House. We've had this thing for a very long time. It's unopened, it's vintage. Honestly, I was debating getting rid of this not long ago, but it kind of occurred to me that my daughter's birthday is around the corner and she's turning three and this would be so perfect to build and design for her and then gift to her for her birthday. Today we're gonna unbox it and see how far we can get with this. Yay! So let's get started. So I just read over some of the instructions and honestly, your girl is in way over her head with this, but that is okay. Um, first things first is actually we're supposed to paint it and then sand it and then we're gonna paint it again. But the problem with that is I have to go get paint for this. Before we go get paint though, I actually am going to have to sand down some of this. And I know it says to paint first and then sand, but this piece right here, it looks like it's got some mild water damage to it. And I'm just gonna sand that down a little bit um, because it also looks like it might be developing some mold. So I'm gonna sand this piece down. And then what? And then I'm gonna sand down whatever other piece. Oh my lord. Stop, traffic. Then I'm gonna sand down any other piece that might have water damage or mold. Let's go. So I went ahead and I sanded down the parts that had a little bit of water damage. It wasn't a lot, it was only like two pieces. Next thing that I need to do is I need to figure out what color I'm going to paint the house. So I'm actually gonna go get the advice from my sister so that I can figure out what color I wanna paint it because I'm not entirely sure and my sister is going to help me paint it. So let's go get her advice. So I'm currently in my sister's room and we just went over a bunch of dollhouse designs and insert this picture. This is what we decided on. I just feel like it's a very classic dollhouse look, the white with the light blue, and then we might do some accents of some flowers and some green. I think it's gonna look so cute. I also debated going with like a white with light pink. Um, honestly, it's really hard to decide, but I, I do think the blue is gonna be a good route to go. I feel like the contrast from the white and the blue is gonna look really good. Now that I decided on what color I want to paint the house, we need to head to Lowe's to go pick up the paint and any other supplies that we need. So let's go ahead and head to Lowe's. It's hot. It is so hot. Uh, yeah. I got everything I need. Currently trying to find my husband. I have lost him to the store. Also, um, I can't show you guys because my hands are full, but right in here, this thing, this purple thing, it's like a paint scent. And I think that's gonna be so fun to add to the paint. Apparently it's supposed to make your paint smell good. So that's kind of cool. Also, I just realized I still need wood glue. So I need to find that. <laughs> Where's my husband? I found my husband. Hi. 
so we have our blue, we have our white, we have our wood glue, we have a brush, and we have some wood stain. And then we also have scented paint additive, which is super cool. So the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is that I am gonna go ahead and paint one of the panels white, mainly because I just wanna get something accomplished and I want to get something done with this house. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this panel and we're gonna paint it white. I am gonna skip the part because they did advise painting, then sanding, and then painting again. I'm gonna just go ahead and go in and paint it mainly because I'm impatient, but I did sand off the mold and I did sand off some of the water damage, so we're good as far as that goes. So I'm gonna open up this white and I'm going to add, this is Soothing Spring and it's just a scent for your paint and I'm just gonna add some of this to my paint. I wanna save some for the blue. Oh, I wanna smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I'm gonna mix that up. Dude, that's actually flippity cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. So now the paint smells super yummy. We're just gonna start painting, so let's go. I have one panel that has been painted white. Unfortunately, I am out of time. I have to go work out and then I have to go pick up the girls for school. But I may be hoping to come back and then paint more. So if I do, I'll make sure to include you guys on that. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about my color choices and yeah, I feel like this is the most enjoyable part of putting this together. I'll possibly see you guys in a minute. I worked out and then I went to pick up the girls and now I am back working on this. I finished that one side of the house. And now, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Now I have my sister out here and she is also helping me and she's gonna start painting the window seals and it's going to be blue on the sides and then on the inside, we're gonna be painting white all throughout here, so yay. We finished painting three of the window seals and we're probably gonna have to go in for another coat. That is all I'm gonna do for tonight. Obviously, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I might work on it tomorrow for my productivity. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have had the best day ever and I will see you guys tomorrow for our next productivity. Bye.